What's going on my dummies and welcome back to Pokemon Spork. In the last episode we made it down here to uh, the Leech City, that's it, that's a weird name. Um, went through the forest, uh, met the gym leader, I met up with the grass type gym leader again to say hey. Um, explored the forest a little bit, got a few mega stones, uh, and came across, I can't remember his name, but he's one of the admins, the admin that wanted the bottle at the, uh, uh, hotel, the underwater hotel. Um, he was like, yeah, we're laying low, um, don't mind me. And then our sister's like, hey, we're gonna battle, and I'm like, bad dude right there, why are we, okay. Anyways, uh, we made it back, um, and we battled great. Uh, in today's episode, we are going to make it through. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, I can buy stuff from you? Cool. Not interested. Silk scarf and a choice scarf. That's pretty cool, I guess. Oh, Silk Studios has outfits for both work and home. If you want, we can even buy a comb. I think that was supposed to rhyme. Not entirely sure on that. All right, Escadrille, do your thing. I think she's a bug type gym leader too, so uh, Escadrille should be n number one MVP. Unless she's got a Volcarona, but even still, we should outspeed it. I don't think we outspeed a Cyndascorch, though. Maybe we do. I don't know. I'm really bad at remembering, like, some Pokemon speeds. And Escadrille is one of those Pokemon, so I, I don't know. <laughs> but it seems like he's doing pretty good. Why well, you got to sell? Oh, Fruit Fruit Stylist. Oh, I'm good. Well, most stylish of people buy their attire from Silk, Silk Studio. I wonder if Silk Studio is a front for Team Portal. If everybody's buying stuff from them out of nowhere. Because I've seen some people in town talking about it too. I wonder if it's a front for Team Portal. Just some thoughts, just some thoughts. Uh, Crustle, uh, we will go for a Metal Claw. I'm so ready to have Iron Head on uh, Pancake, so bad. All right, or Beetle, we will stay in. We'll just stay in and go ahead and finish this off. Okay, cool, I missed. All right, it's just stuck using after you, I guess. Also, the pixelated art on this is cool and all, but he has a mo little mustache. I don't know what the little mustache is all about, but little mustache. She looks like a Team Portal agent, does she not? Pick a bolt, we will go for a rock slide. Alright guys, so the last few episodes were not in my power. Um, there were some problems with uploads or whatever. This week, I'm going to try to get five episodes out. Three episodes of Spork and two Digimon deck techs. Every other day this week, excluding the weekends. So, um, keep an eye out for it. I'm super excited for it too. And then, uh, I guess this is more for um, the Digimon people, but um, if you would like to see a box open, um, leave down in the comments that you would like to see that so I can try to uh, get that for you guys. We both missed our attacks, by the way. Um, because I don't mind recording it and posting it like on uh, sometime next week or whatever. Um, but definitely, um, definitely something to do. So if you're interested in it, uh, leave a comment in this video in particular. Um, wait, so you're challenging Wendy? Wendy and I have actually been friends since before I started Team Portal. We connected over fashion. She doesn't know I'm their leader, of course. 
that's definitely the worst part for anyone in Team Portal. To have to hide something about yourself from your friends and family. Knowing that if they knew about what they're, whoa, um, what you're hiding from them, you might have to become enemies for a while. Enough about that though. When we battled at Norwal Mountain, I did everything to put you at a disadvantage to test your resolve. And it didn't work out so well. Articuno showed up and we both know what happened from there. I need to see what happens when we battle one on one in neutral terrain with no surprises. All right, I'll take you. Do this. Uh, I'm gonna go for a metal claw here. I hope that wasn't a mistake. Maybe I'll Oko it and get an attack raise. Nope, no attack race. Um, I'm gonna stay in. Oh yeah, I'm gonna stay in. Earthquake. Get out of here. I don't understand why his name is Chocolate Disco though. If you know why it's named uh, Chocolate Disco, can you let me know? Cause that is a really strange name to name a chandelier, I believe. Oh no. Oh, even no. Ah. Okay, I was like, what's the hold up, man? We outspeed, okay. I was about to say, we outspeed, but I really hope we don't miss. We are gonna switch out, though. Uh, we'll go for, let's go for Vaporeon. Vaporeon's running low on levels compared to everybody else. Oh, that's the Paramosa. I guess Surf. I expected that to hit harder. A lot harder. Ooh, yeah, that hit a little harder, I think. I could be wrong. Perfect style. Oh, okay. Uh, please don't mega. Please do not mega on me. Please, okay. I'm okay with getting knocked out. <laughs> I'm not okay with being Mega Evolved. I think this is a um, a personalized shiny for just Team Portal, I guess. Wait, I wonder because I know there's a personalized shiny Garchomp. I wonder if that Garchomp is any importance to a character in the series. Have we seen that yet? I feel like we have seen a shiny Garchomp. Hmm. Come on. Okay. Let's get this over with. Dark type Pokemon have such a oh my gosh. Bruh. Really? Dark types have this awkward matchup against uh very psychic types. Cause like they do really well, but they also do really, really bad. It's it's weird. All right, that should be one more. Yeah, secret, secret. I get that name. I, I approve. I approve. <laughs> that did nothing, and this thing is about to try to sweep me. Oh, fantastic! Let's hope I can get some pretty good uh, hits on it. Dude, all your Pokemon have leftovers. Why? Soak most of it. Oh gosh. Next hit's gonna kill me. Let's hope for a crit. Even if it did crit, I don't think it would have killed him. Do I survive? I do not. That does a lot of damage. Alright, let's see here. I guess I can go for an Agandale. Uh, Venom Shock. I really want Sludge Bomb. I don't remember if I got Sludge Bomb or not, but I really want Sludge Bomb on Skidrix. All right. I need to get better. That's what people usually think when they lose. It's true, but there's more to it than that. 
Just getting better won't be enough because you're going to get better too. I need something more, something you don't have. And fortunately, I know exactly where I can find something like that. Farewell. I'll be looking forward to next time, dummy. And thank you for the battle. Uh-oh. Well, I'm gonna go heal because uh, you slapped the hell out of me. Um, let's see here. Let's uh, keep on moving. Hello again, dummy. I hope you liked Technicolor Forest. That's the name of the forest. Haha, <laughs> I know what I'm doing. As I told you before, I'm Wendy, CLS's bug leader and owner of Silk Studio Fashion Brand. Would you like to know how silk scarves and a lot of our other products are made? They're made from bug type Pokemon using String Shot. There are all kinds of usage for moves outside of battle, outside of just battling. Oh my gosh, I'm struggling, guys. You just have to think outside the box. Since you have so many badges already, I'm sure you're familiar with the concept. Show me your style. I will. Oh, that's a pretty, that's a really, really cool, like I like the bee bag in the background. All right, here we go. Swords dance. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat that. All right, pancakes. I'm expecting you to sweep this team, so uh, can you please, please do that for me? Probably should've went on Earthquake for uh, this Galvantula to save on rock slides, but I think I should sweep the entire team. I don't think there's a reason I should. Oh, there it is. Ooh, you do outspeed. Oh, pancakes. No. All right, well, plan B. Hope for the best. At least it doesn't have fiery dance. I can say stay positive on that front. It doesn't have fiery dance, so I'm not getting that. Oh no. Uh, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. And I can't do anything about it. Yep. It's going to outspeed everything. <laughs> okay. Well, at least Yvonne Cop took that hit. Jeez, man. I thought I was about to die real bad. Cotton. Uh, we'll stay in. Uh, get Shadow Claw. Okay, cool. Might just go ahead and go ahead and heal up Ivankov. That way, I'm not like getting destroyed. Um, I think I want a Moo Moo Milk. Yeah, I got one. Or I got some. Alright, I should take this just fine, yeah. So I'll go for another Shadow Claw here. Maybe I'll get a crit. I've been waiting for that crit to show up. Oh no. If I don't get the crit here, then... Yeah. Do I have anything that can resist that? Oh, I do. I'm gonna resist the mess out of that energy ball. I'm a bit of shock. I wonder if she's got a silk, uh, not a silk, a uh, choice scarf on her. Fifty-five velvet. That sounds like a poison type. It really does. I'm gonna go for Nacho. Cool. That was a really, really good switch in too. Oh, this is harder than I wanted to be. So much harder than I wanted to be. I should have level grinded. I should have level grinded before I uh, started this, but oof, this shouldn't kill. The Intimidate, yeah. The Intimidate should help me out here. All right. Silk, I'm gonna stay in. Ooh. Trial speed. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it's gonna have a Focus Sash. Please don't have a focus sash. Please don't have a focus sash. Wow. 
a switch. Uh, I don't want to be caught with my pants down. I want to go ahead and try to. Uh, oh, okay. I guess we're both doing it. Air slash. Okay, so yeah, we should be fine here. Yeah. And I'm just gonna stay in for this next one. And just go ahead and air slash again. That should be it. I think that wraps it all up. That Volcarona, dude. That Volcarona scared me. I thought I was about to get swept. Your Pokemon shine as bright as your badges. Yeah, because they all knew. That was dazzling. You've earned the Thread Badge. Uh, you should take this too. Ooh, Pollen Puff. Emily said she'd be at Inoset Island, so don't keep her waiting. I'm sure you'll both love the Sea Star Society. All right, sweet. Oh yeah, I got plenty of time. I was about to say, uh, I might need to cut the episode off soon, but I got plenty of time. All right, let's uh, let's move on here. I might have to level grind soon, but hold on. Let's uh, I didn't mean to go to bag. Let's put Galvantula up first, or Princess up first. Uh, it looks like we can go now. I heard the underwater hotel is back in business too. Uh, I'll meet you at Ocean Coast. Uh oh. Oh, uh, just a Wellmore. I feel like I'm about to fall asleep. Can we battle to keep me awake? Let's go for a discharge. Wait, you're in the water. Don't go to sleep. There's like a little patch of sand over there. Just go sit on it. Take a nap. Don't. You're gonna drown if you try to take a nap in the water, man. Kids these days. Thanks. You're welcome. Slaps are sometimes necessities. Oh gosh. I might have to uh, use a repel here soon. Uh, my Pokemon's teeth can break through barriers. Oh, you got psychic fangs? Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> Galvantula, perfect counter to Brooks. Let's, uh, let's use this repel because I'm very tired of seeing these things. And I want a good lengthy video that, oh, a Pinchurkin, cool. Oops, okay, well, let's run. Lots of Pinchurikins. Psyshock. Uh, how is that sign supposed to know whether you're the strongest trainer or you have a polywag. And what a, what are those signs and rocks hiding? I have to know. I like the qualifications though, so I'm waiting for someone else to solve it for me. Uh, the path will open for the strongest trainer's polywag. If you guys know what this is about, let me know. I would definitely like to know what this is. Ooh, heart skill. Cool. Also, what are heart skills for? Because you don't need them to try. He's standing on the water, right? That's not just me. He's literally standing on the water. Uh, am I losing my mind? Hi, I'm Carol. 
Celis's fairy leader. I've heard about you. You're basically a superhero. <laughs> so could you help me out too? Oh my gosh, that reminds me of a joke. It's like, would you like soup or salad? What's a super salad? <laughs> You see, uh, you see these simulation thingies before, right? I kind of wanted to see if they could swim, so I brought some out here. Some of them actually made it down to the sea stars, but the rest got stuck up there. There's lots to collect. They're blocking off the east exit from Ocean Coast 2. Could you help me collect the ones here? Okay. I thought I was losing my mind, like something crazy was about to happen. Because I know in Let's Go Eevee, uh, or not Let's Go Eevee, uh, Super Eevee Edition, um, like you go through glitches in the system and stuff, and like it's like you're losing your mind kind of thing. Um, so yeah, uh, yay, that's all of them on this side of the seat. Thanks for your help, Super Hero. I'll help with the other side now. Uh, repel War off, cancel. Oh, uh, there's another. Oh, wait, no, that's the guy we're trying to look for. Okay, cool. Um, my friend is getting a new profile picture for her social media accounts. Okay, I'm ready. Say cheese. Blocked. Uh, Quinn was our scuba diver instructor. I'm kind of sad to see who they've been assisting with. Uh, I want to think Quinn knows what they're doing. But I just can't support Team Portal at all. Poor guy. He's in it for his own reasons and everybody's looking at him like he's a, a villain. I recently finished writing a book and now I don't really know what to do with all of this time. Hey, do you think the waste disposal plant would hire me? Uh, I used to be a ranger so my experience might be useful there. Uh, pages of crossed out story ideas. Uh, Quinn really, or Quinn seems to have emptied the trash recently. So this is Quinn's house. I'm gonna go kill, just in case, and talk to these people in here. Get some exploring done. Uh, I came all the way from Unova to meet the Sea Stars. Cool. Who are the Sea Stars? I'll see momentarily. Some people set their goals too high and get storage whenever when they can't reach them. What you should do if you're trying something for the first time is to start with smaller goals and work your way up. Think of it like taking the lead challenge. You start practicing against local trainers, improving your strength and skill in order to be beat gym leaders and after them comes the Elite Four and Champion. It's easier to climb the stairs one step at a time than to jump all the way from the bottom of the staircase to the top. But also be aware that the gap between steps can be uneven. Getting from uh, goal three and four might take longer than getting from goal one to uh, one to two to three. That's some pretty good, uh, inf uh, not information, but uh, helpful thinking. Dealing with waste is literally one of the dirtiest jobs here, or there is. I respect the rangers here for having the guts to do it. What's up, man? If I were a wishy-washy that washed dishes, I'd be a dishy-washy. An instruction manual for how to throw things in the trash. Okay, that was better. <laughs> uh, if there's anywhere in Seolus, I'd be okay with not seeing as the sewers. Ooh. I wonder if we can go in the sewers. All right, there's some scientist guys. Thomas used to work at the Pokemon Research Institute, but he does his own independent study now. Do I know Thomas? Oh, it's raining now? Uh, not everybody fishes for Pokemon. You'd be surprised what all you can find in the sea. Some people have collections of random objects they fish up. I'm not the type though. So you can have this. Ooh. 
I mean, I got Vaporeon now, but that's pretty cool. I don't want to go there yet. Uh, I'm going to have to fight them again. I have so many keys, it's hard to remember which one is for the door. I understand that. What if there was a poison type version of dive called dumpster dive? Okay, I really want that now. Please, please. Uh, Staryu Valley? Well, that's cool, I guess. It rains a lot in Ocean Coast, but it rains even more here in Stardew Valley. That's why I like coming here. Rain is calming for me. I came to Seolus to study abroad, but now I'm thinking of moving here. Maybe I'll leave the hiking life behind. I was so focused on caves and mountains, I didn't appreciate the beauty of other places like this as much as I should have. I mean, you do you, man. Nobody knows your life better than you do. Oh, he's looking at this girl. That's what he's trying to do. Uh, Vaporeon Wave isn't my kind of music, but I can definitely appreciate the aesthetics. All right. Cool, cool. The water here and the Serenity Seaside is so clear and sparkly like Alumia's hair. I could stare at it all day. You can do that. Because of their illuminate ability, some of the star you hear glow at night. Oh, that's cool. Uh, listening to Vaporeon Wave puts me in a euphoric state of mind. Sometimes it makes me more productive, and sometimes I just sit and stand or stand there listening to it and fall asleep when it's over. I have to enjoy it in moderation. Okay, so I can't go that way. Wonder what's down here. Ooh, what? There's a Suicune here. All right, hold on. We're going to uh, want to save. Wait. I just realized that that uh. A Sylveon's down here. How the hell did it get down here? All right, well, uh, if I can do something down there, let me know, because that's weird, right? It's not just me, that's weird. All right, let's talk to them. Have a seat, dummy, and I'll tell you about the ocean coast. Hi, dummy, we've been waiting for you. Well, I'm a little surprised you actually sought me out, considering the conflicts of interest we've had I wouldn't have blamed you at all if you just ignored me so thanks for showing up it's no problem you're one of the first admins we've seen outside of team portal actually you're the last as long as you're not actively causing trouble we can get along he's still a bad dude man <sighs> We'll be enemies again whenever your next mission is. But for now, everything you've said sounds believable. So, you were going to tell us about Ocean Coast, right? Yes, I'd be happy to. Excuse me. So, like I said at Lovely Lake, Ocean Coast is where I was born. In an environment like this, you can see how I grew to be interested in diving. The Sea of Knowledge has two parts. The Ocean Coast is right in the middle. The part east of here, which you already have been through, connects Ocean Coast to Unoset Island. The west half leads to Crimson Path, and you've heard of Belindia and Belladonna, our first dark and poison gym leaders. That's where they live. I read Belinda, Belinda's diary. I was kind of curious where she moved to with Belladonna. Uh, okay. Well, to the north is our current poison, uh, poison leader, Thomas. The Himola Swamp is his gym and area of study. I believe he's busy right now, though, so if you want to challenge him, you'll have to wait. That's fine. 
we were on our way to Sea Star Society anyways, so we can wait. Uh, I'm sure you already know, but you can reach the Sea Star Society by diving a little west. Uh, finally, going south will take you to Staryu Valley and Scenery Seaside, or Serenity Seaside. And now that the geography is out of the way, geography is out of the way, here's the ocean coast. We care a lot about recycling and keeping the streets and water clean, especially for the sea stars. Cialis' main waste plant is here, which is maintained by a branch of rangers. When I was running the BBC, we had spied spies there. A lot of the materials were collected. We collected, we sent here as a cover. We were mainly looking for that bottle. But if we found anything else that would be useful, of course, we'd take that too. I'm guessing you won't tell us what the bottle was for. Yes, please tell us what the bottle was for. Um, but there's something else I'm kind of curious about. Since Team Portal is trying not to draw attention to themselves, wouldn't your home be one of the last places you'd consider going? You've gotten some suspicious stares. Oh, I've gotten some suspicious stares. But it's not like me being where I live is out of the ordinary. I think it's the best place for me to be right now. Anyways, I've told you pretty much everything there is about Sea Ocean Coast. If you need me for anything else, I'm going to the underwater at Sea Star... Oh my gosh, I'm struggling guys. Uh, Staryu Valley for Vaporeon Wave Concert. Um, that was pretty neat info we got. So what do you want to do now? I know we could look around Ocean Coast, and I don't want to do that. I do want to do that eventually, but I'm really excited to visit the Sea Stars. That's where I'd like to go first. We'll have to come back anyways to Battle Thomas. You can look around if you want, though. I'll be waiting for you by the water. Oh. Oh, no. That better not be hiccups. Uh, welcome to the Waste Disposal Department. If you have time, would you mind doing us a favor? Some of the people who used to work here were moles for Team Portal. We found and fired them, but that means we could use some replacements. We still have a good number of workers, but we could always use more, especially in this line of work. If you find anyone who's willing, send them here. Due to this bell, non-workers only have access to a small part of the facility. Uh, there's no doors here. How do you get to the other part? I can't count the number of times we have to wash our hands each day. Me neither. My line of work, I have to wash my hands constantly. Alright, I recently finished writing a book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they're looking for workers at the waste disposal plant. I'll be right there. I don't know how many I have to send, though. Uh... Thanks for taking the time to find someone. The person you sent already has experience being a ranger, so she'll be perfect. Take these for your efforts. Ooh, there's Sludge Bomb and a marble. Cool, 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 cool. Let's, uh, let's teach Sludge Bomb to, uh... Um, Nagandale. It's just right there. Cool. Uh, over Venom Shock. I mean, it's just more damage. Uh, uh, I'm not ready for this. Um, now let's do it. Delisha and Ashley, I don't think I've met the person you're with. Oh, hi dummy. And this must be your sister. You know me? Okay, I explain, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, okay, it's nice to meet you. Cor, Corlea? <laughs> Are you two going to visit the Sea Stars too? We are. Since Team Portal is taking some time off, we can just have fun right now. Chocolate eclairs. Delicia wants to try the food, of course. I want to go to the Sea Star Shrine. That's my favorite place to visit there. It's always... It always has this magical and soothing feeling to it. Uh, Cielus has famously described it as such. No matter how chaotic it is everywhere in the world, the Sea Star Shrine is a sanctuary of serenity. I have to agree with that. Well, 
that's a really beautiful way of putting it. I've heard no one knows where Seolus is now, but I'd really like to meet him. My mom's been the steel type gym leader ever since the league was formed, so she she's met him. That was a long time before I was born though. I'm only 16, soon to be 17. So anyways, since you're all here, why not explore the sea, sea star society together? They, they made this game just to mess me up. I can't say any of this. I've been there a few times, so I can be your guide on on what there is to do. Sounds like fun. Let's do it. All right, let's uh let's end the episode off here. I know you guys want to see the Sea Star Society, and so do I. But you gotta wait till the next episode. Like I said, there should be an episode coming out Sunday night to Monday morning, Wednesday night to Thursday morning, and Friday night or Thursday night to Friday morning. Yeah. All right, so Sunday night to Monday morning, Wednesday night to Thursday morning, Thursday night to Friday morning. You should have three videos up unless something happens, but I promise I'll do everything I can to get these videos out. Five videos, three sport, two Digimon. But until then, if you like the video, leave a like, comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you all in the next episode. Peace.